from sunny, gorgeous Florida. I am like totally stoked in my room right now. So this is the view from my hotel room. It's stunning. I am so excited. I walked in here and I was like, wow. Most of the places I've stayed where I've been fortunate enough to have an ocean view, I've never been this close to the actual water before. It's like, I don't know, 50 feet from my balcony it's kind of insane and of course i have this like irrational fear of tsunamis so it's like, most people are like oh my gosh it's so gorgeous look at that and i'm like oh god please don't let a tsunami come when i'm staying here that moment where you're just like dang you feel so grateful and like happy um okay so let me give you a little room tour i've already like started putting like my stuff out everywhere but here is the door and then you have like a safe and a little closet and a little luggage rack. Here is the bathroom, just really clean and nice. I've already started, you know, putting my stuff everywhere. Here's my little OOTD, lack of colors hat, Amazon dress, really cute. And then my little sandals that I got from the thrift store. Okay, moving along. Here are the beds, like little shiplap walls in the background. Very beachy and fun. Little microwave, little fridge, coffee setup, water, ice bucket, TV, and a lot of drawers if you want to put your clothes away. Um, some sitting areas, nice lamp, and you know, the star of everything is just this view because oh my gosh and there's like chairs out there you could sit and relax which i'll probably be doing a lot of and in fact i think i'm gonna sit out there and go read my book because this trip is all about by the way this is a book i'm reading for my um i was gonna say bible study i'm not in a bible study um let me take my glasses off the book i'm reading for my book club this whole trip is like totally out of my comfort zone because I usually am like really scared to fly. I don't travel alone usually and like I would never do stuff like this. So I'm really like stepping it up this year on stepping outside of my comfort zone and uh, just trying to like do a lot of personal growth um, this year. And so, and also taking time for me because I never really do that. Um, so yeah, this retreat is gonna be really nice. It's a wealthy women's retreat, so there's a lot of like speakers and I'm one of them. I'm very excited. I'm like the motivational speaker, I'm pretty sure. I'm like telling my story and, um, you know, inspiring and motivating other women to be awesome no matter what. Struggles or past or, you know, what might seem to come in their way that might stop them from being successful and happy. So that's kind of like my speech telling my story. And then um, there's other women speaking here. Um, there's like a former Olympian that's speaking. Um, and then just a lot of other very successful like multi-millionaire women that are sharing their like knowledge. And also I think there's gonna be like 70 other women that have signed up for this retreat also that are just like very like highly motivated, driven, women that want to be like extremely successful and um, a lot of them are into real estate and that's kind of like why i'm here is because i really am um into real estate investing and wanting to do more of that so i'm hoping to be able to make friends with other women like me that are into the same type of things because i don't really ever go out of my way to like make friends i'd rather just like be alone i'm kind of like a loner um when I'm like in real life, you know, like on social media is different. I have a lot of friends, like all of you guys, but in real life, I don't really have any. So that I like hang out with or talk to a lot. So I'm hoping to make some friends and then also, yeah, just learn a lot. I'm here basically to like for education and also a little bit of vacation. Cause you know, I have a little bit of time to like sit out by the beach and read my book. I just feel so freaking lucky to be able to like be able to do this and be here and um anyway so i'm gonna take advantage of being without my kids in fact i was like almost in tears because this is the first time i've ever been away from storm since he was born and the first time i've been away from snow like other than when i was giving birth to storm i've like never left my kids and uh so that's a little 
a little hard, but it's nice to have a break from them. I need a break. Um, but you know, I still miss them. <laughs> you know, if you're a mom, I think you get it. But anyway, so yeah, that's kind of what's going on right now. Um, I took a red eye flight to come in and I was going to carpool with some of the other girls, um, in the mastermind, uh, and, but they weren't getting into like hours later. So, and I was really tired. So I was like, I'm just going to Uber <laughs> to the hotel. It's like an hour and a half from the airport. I flew into Miami. Um, and then, yeah, I was like, I, I'm going to see if I could check in early and like go to sleep. But then I got here and I was so excited that now I can't sleep, but I slept a little bit on the Uber ride cause it was long. But yeah, so I'm going to just relax a little bit and enjoy this like alone quiet time with the ocean view and try to read a little bit of my book. So that's what I'm gonna do just now. got my swag bag when I checked in. I got my little name tag. Oh, my camera's a little blown out, but real talk or a treat. The society. Um, and then a little like, what is this called? Like a folder of our like agenda or like our schedule. And then behind here, I'm not gonna show it cause it's got the girls uh, like phone numbers and stuff of people that are here. And then like a little welcome message. Also this like super nice sweater. It's like soft and cozy. Um, it's like a crop. And then this really cute little my camera died, but I was showing you this cool cup. The Society of Entrepreneurial Women. I gotta learn how to say that word, entrepreneurial entrepreneur <laughs> oh i give up anyway that was a cute little welcome swag bag of fun stuff and i thought this was a cute little touch it's it's me hi i'm the problem it's me taylor swift um and then it also talks about their next retreat which is in tennessee and um that's in may so i definitely would want to go to that because I don't know, it just sounds really fun. And they're saying like cabins and stuff. Well, it's like camp for like, <laughs> for uh, grown up women. All right, I'm gonna get my coffee. I am actually scheduled to the um, invite only VIP event. So it is almost 4.30, so I'm gonna head over there and do that. And then from seven to nine, we have our cocktails and speed networking. So that should be fun. So this was from the uh, VIP event and we basically all hung out, introduced ourselves, um, told each other where we were from, what we did, what our goals were, and it's just really cool to meet so many like powerful, successful women, so that was really exciting. Um, but I just really wanted to show you guys this hotel because of how pretty it was. So this is in Isla Medora. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. Don't quote me on that. And it's called the Postcard Inn. They actually have another one of these hotels in Florida, I think in St. Augusta. Um, but we stayed in the one in Isla Medora and I just like, they call it postcard in cause this is literally what you would see on a postcard. It's so beautiful. And because we went like at the end of January, the weather is perfect. It's not too hot, not too cold. Um, and it was just really nice. And yes, I did set my camera up and took these shots by myself out there. People were probably like, this girl is so conceited filming herself. Like what a weirdo. Whoa, scared me. I don't know. Somebody was like yelling outside my room right now and I did this voiceover. It just freaked me out. Um, but I didn't care because I wanted to film this for you and document this beautiful trip because I want to be able to look back on it one day and just be like, dang, this was my life. Like how cool. Um, and this was also me staring at all the creatures in the water that I'm scared to get in with. You see all the little fish in there? <laughs> Some people love to like get in the water and swim with them and not me. No, thanks. I am like so scared of the fish in the ocean. That's like a fun fact about me that I really do not like the creatures in the ocean. It just like really freaks me out. And I am like petrified that like a fish is going to touch my leg. <laughs> I'm such a weirdo, but I don't know. Is anybody else like freaked out of fish? I literally have like a fish phobia. It's the weirdest thing. I'm okay filming it, but like, and I'm okay eating them because I completely disassociate like where they come from um, and what they look like. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to just share this beautiful view with you and then also give you a little tour of the hotel. So this ho hotel is so cool because all of those like kayaks and stand up paddle boards, they even have bicycles like th for free. It's like included with your hotel stay um, for you to like 
go do all these activities. This is really cool. So this was the pool. I don't know if you can see, but they have so many activities at this resort. So there's jet skiing, there's paddle boarding, there's like checkers, bocce ball. There's so many activities here. Like you could never get bored. Look at the bocce ball. So if you're wondering what this retreat is or what it's about, it's uh, called the Society of Entrepreneurial Women. It's basically a lot of very motivated, highly successful and driven women um, that are also very big into real estate investing and just in business in general. And we all get together and network and make new friends and there's guest speakers. And so there's a lot of education going on and kind of like a little mini vacation all rolled into one. And it's really, really fun. This is where I'm staying at the postcard in and my room is up here in building 200 they give you these little um, wristbands but it's also your key card so if you go in the water or do like you know pool and activities um, let's see does it not want to work for me oh no there we go always lock my door. I'm so paranoid. Someone's going to try to get me. <laughs> like everyone here, they probably don't want me, but I you know. Okay. So I tried to dress more like an influencer. It's either like cute or homeless. Like there's no in between for me. So here's a little bit of better lighting. I'm going to like so we were called Wealthy Women, um, but they changed the name to the Society. So that is what that sign was. And everything went really good. Um, I got out of my comfort zone. I talked to more women than I think I've talked to in the past like five years. Um, and I've made some new friends already just on the first night. So I was really excited about that. And I wanted to show you my grandma hat that I got from Target. Um, and then that's Heather who put the retreat on. Um, and this is the view from her room it's just stunning anyway thank you guys so much for watching make sure to come back to watch day two of the retreat um i am sending you all my love and all my positive energy and i hope to see you in the next video Mwah.